Pete Alonso. I think he's having a very good season. If somebody wants to say 40 home runs is the first met since David Wright and can't remember who else to have a hundred RBIs in three straight seasons. He's playing well, but he is a home run hitter. And when you look at all the metrics across the board, they're not that impressive to me, Dylan. Now, he's always been a good batting average guy, 265, 260. He hit 270 last year, which is really good. Um, but his defense is average. He's a right-handed power hitter, which is not ideal. Um, his on-base percentage is not that great. Slugging percentage is not even that great as a, as a as a home run hitter, the premier home run hitter in all of baseball. His walk to strikeout ratio is not that great either. So, a guy that has one more year of eligibility before he hits free agency. What is his market? And I'd like to have that conversation with you because. Newsflash, Met fans, and I'm a Met fan. He's not better than Matt Olson. He's not better than Paul Goldschmidt. He's not better than Freddie Freeman. So all of those guys have already gotten paid. None of those guys are $200 million guys. What makes you think that Pete is worth $200 million, even if his agent is Scott Boris? Thoughts? I think, oh, well, so I actually have a friend that works for the Mets. He's like in the analytics scouting department. And I remember what he was telling me a lot. Like, home runs are such a big deal. Like, I feel like, you know, analytics the other day, same thing as three points is worth more than two. As long yes. as you're able to drive home runs, it's all that matters. I think, I think there's a lot of teams out there looking for like just three outcome looking guys where it's just you hit a home run, you strike out, you get a walk. All right. Um, because you know, if you ground to a double play, that's bad. If you sack fly and somehow the runner doesn't get home or whatever, it that does that's not good either. Feel so, the choice. Yeah. So like home runs are kings, you know, three, four runs or two or whatever a home run, depending on the situation in the game. I think there is value in Peter Alonzo. He's not, you know, I you definitely put up a convincing argument of why he shouldn't be worth two hundred mil. But I think there'll be a team out there that'll give him a good money. And the Mets, they have as deep a pockets as any team right. in the MLB. So if if Steve Cohen says, yeah, I like Polar Beer Pete, I like him, you know, just give him the money. Yeah, I mean, listen, I am not opposed to Pete Alonso getting paid. I just don't necessarily think that they need to crack the bank for him because I don't, I don't think that I, – I agree with you. I think that there might be a team out there that's willing to go – crazy to get him mm. but i don't think they should be the mets i don't think that they should negotiate against themselves when it comes to trying to give him a contract if he wants to hit the free agent market then hit the free agent market you know i i would i would love for him to see what his value is on the market and if he does get an offer that he would love the mets to match then you can come back and say hey i got this particular offer can you match it mm -hmm. can you come close to matching it and if they don't want to, then you go ahead and, and now you already have a contract in the bag. So I think that's the way to go rather than trying to negotiate against yourself. I don't like when teams do that. It was the same re, uh, situation that we had with um, Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. I didn't think that Dallas had to jump out the window to sign him. Let him test the market and see what it is. Mm -hmm. And then you can be able to say, okay, if somebody's willing to give him X amount of money, then cool. Then now, now we know what his actual value is. Yeah. So, I think the I think the big difference I think especially with the Cowboys I think Jerry Jones is so quick to jump on a new quarterback especially since Romo was his guy yeah. for the longest time and I think since he saw Dak had promise you know it's like you know what, I'll yeah, give him that possible. money. With Pete though, the Mets have already plenty of talent. And even though this season was a disaster, considering the amount of money they spent in the Epic. off season, um, I think Cohen will definitely reevaluate this upcoming year. Shohei's gonna be on the market, so that's gonna that's gonna be fireworks for whoever signs them. 
I wouldn't be surprised if the Mets just open a bag at Shohei and just say, screw off Pete. Yeah, I, listen, I would I would put Shohei at first base. I'd do it. Yeah, I would. He could. Listen, Bryce Harper just switched his position. He, he's willing to play first base full time. First base you, is that hard. I've been a you first get, base. Yeah. <laughs> Go get him a bigger glove and, and, and let him work. Yeah. So, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm going to ask Nicole because she's very emotional with her Mets as well. Thoughts, Nicole. Should they overpay for Polar Bear Pete? Yes. See, she's emotional. I told you. It's it, a nickname. Yeah. Polar Bear Pete. It's a good nickname. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't think that just because we have, yeah, be careful with her. She's old. She's old and she bites. <laughs> Cute cat, though. I love her. <laughs> so it's, it's one of those things that just because we have the money doesn't mean that we have to spend it recklessly. Because I don't think that Pete is going to age well. Yeah. And that's the problem, right? If you, get, right if you give him a <laughs> six-year deal, he's not going to look good by the time that contract even gets remotely close to being over. And are the Mets going to be good as soon as he gets signed after next season or next season? I don't think so. I think it's going to take a little while for the Mets to be able to build this the right way. So by the time that the Mets are good, what is Pete? 31? 32 possibly? Yeah. I think oh, Conan's also a fan at heart too. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, like, there's a lot of baseball owners out there that are just in it for the profit and they're trying to like – there's some really good teams that have such small payrolls. And I find that hilarious right. because you have one end, you have the Dodgers and the Mets spending hundreds of millions of dollars. But and then you, you have the Rays. Yeah, the Rays. They have like 50 million payroll or something yep. ridiculous like that. Like, Paying some just, guy $6 and he winning 100 games a year. Yeah, minimum wage. And it's crazy. And just, it's nuts. It makes no sense. That's the beauty of baseball, I think. It it is. It is. It is. 